respected man in the world, keeping an eye on everything about life to make sure he lives as efficiently as possible. We're ready for all his tips. He's matchism. He's one connected rooster. Google Glass. This is actually a Pebble Watch. My iPhone is actually sending me a bunch of other information affecting my movement and sleep. This is actually collecting my galvanic skin response. Arguably the most connected man in the world. This is actually keeping track of my posture. My other phone's actually showing me the temperature, humidity, air quality. Stop it. Stop it. American Chris Dancy has between three and 700 systems running at any time. Gadgets, apps, and trackers that gather information to help him live his life. Being connected allows you to create a dashboard of your life. Just using a mobile phone is just a rearview mirror. It's everything you want to see, but it's behind you. Being connected allows you to drive better, smarter, faster today. What are some of the more weird things you're monitoring? One of the first weird things I monitored was how often I had to use the bathroom. As I got older, I was having to get up in the middle of the night, and I thought, this is crazy. I want to be able to, like, sleep through the night. So I put a, a motion sensor in the bathroom and one in the kitchen and figured out how late I could drink before I, so I could sleep eight hours. Do you know when your next bowel movement's about to happen? Well, if you ask questions like that, probably now. <laughs> Chris's obsession with systems started about five years ago. I thought information about humans is important. Right now, Google and Facebook are monetizing our attention. Someone's going to monetize our behavior. I want to understand how they're going to do that. 300 to 700 systems, yeah. though. Yeah. Chris, is it time-consuming? No. So a lot of it was time-consuming in the beginning. So once you once you get a system going, it just runs on its own. You don't have to think about it. There's an abundant amount of information that we're losing moment to moment. The former IT worker has become a systems consultant and says his connectivity has well and truly changed his life for the better. So actually paying attention to what I listened to, what I watched, when I got up, when I didn't get up, who I hung out with, allowed me to realize, oh look, these people make you want to eat crap. These, this music makes you not eat so crappy. And I just started pushing those things together. The result? Well, Chris dropped 45 kgs in a year. We're all trying to know ourselves with all this information. How well do you know yourself? I feel I'm more aware, I'm more kind to myself now than I ever was. Uh, some people kind of made me angry. Um, I still get angry with people. That's part of living. We, that's what we call life. Um, but I'm, I'm aware that there are certain things that just set me off, and I try to avoid those things. You know when you're going to lash out? I know exactly when I'm going to lash out. Haptic feedback allows you to do that. So a little... Little responses from your body give you a cue that, oh, you're about to lose your mind. I could do with that. You could do with it like three or four times from what I've experienced so far. <laughs> be nice! Yeah, be nice. Be nice! I love you, dude! <laughs> no, no. But this yarn isn't about me. What does your technology tell you about what's happening back at home in the States? Oh, gosh, a lot. I mean, right now I could actually pull up my, my phone and we could, uh, we could look at my house and actually see what the dogs are doing. I could actually see how active the dogs are because the dogs have sensors on them. I said I'm running, running to Being this connected, even with canines, is something Chris reckons we can all achieve. And ladies love tech. So just the Google Glass would get you 5 to 10% more ladies this afternoon. <laughs> I'm a believer. Home run. They ain't got no muscle, no hustle, no backbone, I stand alone, I'm tripping.